Did you know that you can personalize your own Facebook shortcut bar? This is a huge hack when it comes to using Facebook smarter as your tool in business. So we're going to hop into my phone so I can show you how to set this up yourself. If you don't know me well, my name is Stephanie Parisi and I love helping small business owners grow their influence and profits online using marketing strategies that actually work. And I'm also the leader of the Parisi Pack, which is my private marketing community for entrepreneurs. Now, the reason why I love updating my shortcut bar and personalizing it to me is it allows me to access the things that I'm using the most on Facebook. So let me show you how to do this. Okay, so let's pop into Facebook. And then here at the bottom, this is what I'm talking about, the shortcut bar that says home, groups, profile, feeds, notifications, all of that. You can personalize this to have whatever you want to show up. So maybe you use Marketplace more, or maybe you like to do Facebook Watch, okay? So what we are going to do to personalize it, so you don't always have to just go to these areas, okay? Because these are all the different shortcuts that you could have pop up. Let me show you how to actually put them down here at this bar. So we are going to go to menu, okay, in the right, bottom right hand corner, click it, and then you're going to click this little screw um, that's up here in the upper right hand corner, and then you're going to go to profile settings, okay, so who knew, but under profile settings, and then if you scroll all the way to the bottom, ta-da, shortcut bar shortcuts make it easier to access the services on Facebook that you use the most you're gonna click that and then you can see here that you can pin different things so maybe you use events more okay so right here I could click pin boom and that's going to tell me oh I'm only allowed to pin three shortcuts well let's remove one okay so maybe I don't want to use feeds okay so now it's gone now I could pin events Okay, and so now you're gonna see I have events here at the bottom. It works automatically quickly. Maybe I don't want my profile pinned. I could hide that because maybe I'm not popping onto my profile that much, but I'm actually using Facebook Watch a lot and watching a lot of videos. Boom, now you see that Watch is added to it, okay? What about, like, maybe you never really like to care about what's going on in groups, so we're going to remove that one, but you actually do want your feeds, so you can go from friends to groups to pages pinned. Oh, now you're going to see feeds is popped up here at the bottom. So you can really set it up based off of what you use the most, which I absolutely love, which for me isn't events and it's not Facebook watch because I'll be honest I don't even really watch that many videos but I do utilize groups a lot if you're not in my create stories that sell group pop in it we're gonna pin that one and then I do like easy access to my profile at times so we're gonna pin that one as well you're gonna see when you click on it you have options you can pin it or you can auto do it so facebook if you use that one a lot facebook will automatically put it in there for you if you want okay so you can have ones that automatically pop in friend request is another option so here at the bottom you're going to see that i have mine set up for home groups profile feeds or notification if you want more help on how to use groups for facebook marketing check out these videos that i have available for you on facebook groups i'm talking everything facebook groups when it comes to how to set up your facebook group for success i have the best questions to ask when people are joining your facebook group and then also some different hacks here that you can see on facebook groups and updates that are rolling out on how to use these groups to your advantage and that's all I have for you today on how to update your shortcut bar at the bottom and personalize it so you can use Facebook faster and get off quicker to live your life. Super cool, isn't it? For more marketing tips and tricks, head on over to stephanieparisi.com so you can check out all the different social selling hacks that I have for you and pop inside my Create Stories That Sell Facebook community if you're not already in there yet. In the meanwhile, check out either of these two videos that are popping up on the screen. They're here to help you win in your business. And I'll be back next week with another new video.